This Megalodon shark was caught on camera. Welcome back, Charlie here. Megalodons were giant 60 foot sharks that went extinct 3.6 million years ago. Or did they? Recently, videos have surfaced that appear to show these massive sharks still alive today. First, we have to look at this washed up Megalodon. In Karichi, Pakistan, this monster shark washed up on a harbor. The gigantic creature was a whopping 40 feet in length. A commercial crane had to be used to lift the shark up, removing it from the sea and putting it on the harbor. Experts and researchers said they'd never seen a shark this big in the area before. The shark is slightly less big than many megalodon, coming in at 40 feet rather than 60 feet. But this shark may have been very malnourished before washing up. Megalodons need tons of food every day, which is why they went extinct because there wasn't enough to eat. So it's likely that any modern day megalodon Megalodon would be a lot smaller, so maybe this washed up shark really is a scrawny megalodon. That being said, this potential megalodon is still terrifying, and could easily defeat almost any shark or whale, not to mention sink boats and eat swimmers. Next we have to look at this deep megalodon. One day aquatic researchers were deep below the ocean surface. Their cameras were 3,300 feet below sea level. They're stunned when they see this monster shark pass by. This guy's got a meter wide head. Look, look how thick he is. He's huge. As you can hear, the researchers can barely believe their eyes. As the monster shark passes by, the researchers try to estimate its size. They do this using the two red laser dots, which are used for measuring things underwater. Although the shark is not exactly 60 feet, it is still massive. Many say it's larger than any shark should be in these waters. So it may simply be a young or malnourished megalodon. Megalodons are not normally seen so deep below the ocean surface. The only DNA scientists have on megalodons is their teeth and backbone fossils, meaning that it's hard to tell if this sighting could really be a megalodon shark. Either way, it's terrifying to know this shark is lurking deep below our seas. Moving on, we have to look at this video of a megalodon attacking a whale. One night, a fisherman saw something strange from his ship. In the open waters, a massive whale kept coming up for air. Or at least, that's what the fishermen thought. What they couldn't see underwater was, the whale was fighting a megalodon shark. That's when, all of a sudden, the megalodon pushes the whale out of the water into the sky, capturing the whale in its massive jaws. After this, the whale doesn't emerge again, meaning that it was likely eaten by the megalodon shark. Do you think whatever attacked this whale was a megalodon shark? I can't think of any animal big enough to defeat a whale like this. Next, we have to look at this megalodon versus a kayak. Just imagining you're kayaking on open waters, but that's when all of a sudden you see a massive monster shark heading for your kayak. That's exactly what's happened in this video. A man was kayaking off a boat. His friend on the boat was filming him. But that's when in the water a gigantic shark emerged. The kayak was 14 feet, meaning that this shark would have been over 40 feet long. The potential megalodon comes very close to this man's kayak, but thankfully doesn't bite or try and attack. It may have simply been investigating its surroundings, but even so I'm sure this kayaker had his wit scared out of him. Next we have to look at this beach megalodon. One day an Australian beach was closed off. That's because a monster shark washed up on the shore. Beachgoers looked in horror and fear, as this potential megalodon was seen where they normally paddle and swim. The scale of the shark was hard to see from land, but a news helicopter caught the megalodon's immense size. It's estimated this shark was around 40 to 50 feet long, meaning that it's definitely a contender for a megalodon. It's not known why this megalodon shark passed away. It could have had some kind of disease, become malnourished from lack of food, or was maybe attacked by an even bigger megalodon shark. According to the Natural History Museum, some scientists think megalodon may have been in competition with each other, and to establish dominance would have often fought each other, meaning that even bigger megalodon may exist in Australian waters. As is proved by our next video, let's look at this Australian megalodon. This video of a monster shark was recorded in Australia. Researchers were using a new technology which allows them to attract sharks, and that's when they 
caught this monster shark on camera. Some believe it to be a great white, while others say it's far too big, and believe it to be a modern megalodon shark sighting. The footage was reported on the Australian Today Show, and as you can see, the reporters were stunned. But could this really be a megalodon shark? Some researchers believe megalodons may have diverged into various new hybrid species. So maybe this is a mix of a megalodon and another shark, hence why it has some features of a great white. Next, we have to look at this Mariana Trench megalodon. Recently, Japanese researchers were exploring the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of water in the world. It's so deep the sun can't even reach it. But this camera and massive light appears to have caught a gigantic megalodon shark. This video led to many believing the megalodon lives in the Mariana Trench, which explains why sightings are so rare. It's very bizarre a megalodon would be swimming that low. That's because there's very little food at that depth. Some said this shark looked similar to a six-gill shark, but six-gill sharks also don't live this low, and are usually far smaller. It's safe to say this sighting brings up so many questions, and left even meg experts scratching their heads. Moving on, let's look at this mutant megalodon baby. This bizarre cyclops shark was found on a beach. This was found off the coast of Mexico. People weren't sure which species of shark this mutant came from, and many believed it could be a baby megalodon. It's since been dubbed the albino cyclops shark. This discovery has marine biologists excited and baffled. The shark suffers from cyclopia, but the bizarre thing is, its eye works like normal. Usually when a human or animal has cyclopia, their vision is very bad, but this shark can see like normal. But could this really be a baby megalodon shark? Well, because it's so rare, it's hard to know. Right now, we still don't know which species of shark this is from, but either way, it's a very amazing and rare discovery. Less than 50 examples of this have ever been found in science. Moving on, let's look at this 62-foot megalodon. This recent recording shows a 62-foot shark on the ocean floor, which many believe may be a megalodon shark. There are many massive creatures that live this deep, but it's said whatever this is has the same power as a megalodon shark. As the sighting was very brief, it's hard to say too much about it, but its estimated size is 62 feet, meaning that its size is the same as a megalodon. The sighting took place in the Pacific Ocean, which is said to be a megalodon hotspot. Finally, let's look at this New Zealand megalodon. Researchers from Macy University in New Zealand wanted to find a massive shark, so they attached a waterproof camera to a bait bucket, and then waited, monitoring the live feed. After many days of waiting, they caught this gigantic shark on camera. It's one of the clearest monster shark sightings ever recorded. Some say this is a great white shark, while others say it's simply too big to be a great white. Could this pass as a megalodon shark, or is it just a gigantic great white? The video is super clear and impressive, and learning more about different shark species will help us identify other megalodons in the future. Marine researchers are still looking for more evidence about megalodon sharks, including both fossils of dead megalodon sharks, and potential sightings of megalodon sharks that are still alive life today. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these megalodon sightings was the best. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.